Okay, fifth graders, we are at the end of chapter four. Actually, the last section, last section, four nine. And there's some review pages we'll do, but we'll start those next week and then wrap up chapter four uh, next week. Anyway, so this will be your homework for today, Friday, and uh, over the weekend. Um, so it's talking about modeling problems with an equation. And um, so you're just going to have to read these word problems. Really, that's what they all are. And uh, try to figure them out. So let's look at the first example they give us here. It says uh, Alex, he's buying vegetables. And he buys six ears of corn. Um, uh, 1.4 pounds of green beans and 2.5 pounds of potatoes. How much money did he spend? Well, you got to check to see the price of each one. Here's the price of the green beans. Here's the price of potatoes. And there's the price of the corn. And so they factor that in. So he buys six ears of corn. And you come over here and you look at the corn. And you can see it's 35 cents for each ear. And so they've modeled that there, six times 0.35, which the 0.35 stands for 35 cents. And then 1.4 pounds of green beans, and here's green beans at $1.80. And so 1.4 pounds of green beans, and the 1.8 stands for the $1.80. And then finally the potatoes at 70 cents a pound and 2.5 pounds of potatoes. Well, and they just totally, they, you know, multiply those and they total each one. And then you add together those totals. And you get $6.37. So, um, I think that's, that's something you guys could have done without too much difficulty. Um, it says here, Beth buys 3.2 pounds of potatoes and she gives the clerk... A $5 bill right an equation that shows how much money she will get back explain uh, how your equation represents the problem well I'm not worried about you explaining anything as far as this this problem but I will say this let's um, let's say C represents the change she gets back because that's what we're trying to figure out that's what they're asking us um, how much change will she get back that's that's the question. All right, so C equals, so it's going to be $5, because that's how much she gave, so I'll just uh, put five, and it's gonna be minus something, minus what? Well, she bought 3.2 pounds of potatoes. What were potatoes going for? It looks like a buck 70. No, I'm sorry, just 70 cents. So 0 0.70, so five minus, and then I put it in parentheses because we've got to do that part first. It's going to be three, whoops. It's going to be 3.2 times 0.70 or just 0.7. That would have worked also. So there's the equation. So you guys have to solve that. you got to solve for C and tell me what C is. But I've set that up there for you. All right, let's look at the next page here, the guided practice. So it says Jackie downloaded 14 songs at 99 cents each and one song for $1.29. She had a coupon of $2.50, blah, 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 blah. What was the total amount she paid? Well, what do you got to find first? You got to find first um, the total, the cost of everything. The total cost. I guess of the songs. Okay, write an equation to represent the problem. Well, okay, so again, we could use C. So C equals, um, well, first off, how many, she bought 14 songs for 99 cents. So C equals, um, we could put that one in parentheses, 14. Excuse me, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze here. Um, yep, I think I really do, am I? Nope, oh, <laughs> it was close, it was on the edge. Oh, okay, 14 times 0.99. Plus, she got something else, right? Okay, she got one song for $1.29, one, 
Um, I could put one times a dollar twenty nine, but I'll just put uh, one twenty nine because that's the same thing plus a dollar twenty nine. And actually, I didn't even have to put that one in parentheses. Okay, and then she had a, a coupon. Remember, she had a coupon for what was the here it is two fifty, and then uh, so minus let's see here um yeah minus that color doesn't quite show up as well as i had hoped let's do uh let's do we did red okay let's do <laughs> worried about my colors here minus 250. make sure you put those decimals where they belong okay and what's the solution? I don't know. You guys figure that out. What's the solution there? What's C equal? All right. Um, let's see here. Independent practice. I think, is that the last page? Oh, no, no. Not there yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Independent practice. George bought 2.5 pounds of each type of fruit shown on the sign. What was the total cost of the fruit he bought? I'm going to let you guys do that one. 2.5 pounds of each one of apples, of grapes, of bananas. Write an equation to represent the problem. Let me see what kind of equation you guys came up with. And then finally, number six here, what's the, what's the solution to the problem? All right, I'm just going to let you guys do that one on your own. And uh, last page here, problem solving. Um, Tina and Shannon counted the coins in their coin collections. Tina discovered that she had 538 more coins in Shannon whose collection was worth more. Okay, well, so yeah, Tina's got a ton more pennies, uh, but pennies aren't worth a whole lot. And she's got... Um, a lot less quarters. Well, not a lot, but uh, so there's a difference of only um, one, two, three quarters there. But remember, each quarter is worth, you know, 25 pennies. So um, anyways, who's is worth more? You're going to have to figure this out. Uh, do you need to do you need all the information given to solve um, the problem? I think what they're asking you here in this question, number seven, they're asking you all the information given here. Do you need all that, I guess, um, to solve the problem? Um, well, you need this. You need all that information, but you don't need this. In other words, Tina discovered that she has 538 more coins, okay? Um, that's that's not necessary. So the answer is no, really. No. Um, um, we don't need to know the number of coins um, Tina had. I mean, it doesn't matter. The total number of coins doesn't matter. I should be more specific, okay? Um, let's see here. How is finding the total value of... I'm looking at eight here. The, finding the total value of the coins in Tina's collection is similar to finding the total value of coins in Shannon's collection. How is finding the total number of coins in... Um, How is it similar? Wow, I don't know. I'd have to look at the teacher's manual and see what that one's talking about. How was finding the total number of coins in Tina's collection similar to... It, it's not, because it's not the total number of coins. It's how many of each type of coin. So, uh, how is it similar? Um, well, I, I will say this you multiply <clears throat> um, 
the value of each coin by the number of that type of coin. I, it's the only thing I can think of. I don't know what else they would be asking, but again, I've said this before. Sometimes these questions they ask, I'm, it leaves me scratching my head. I'm not sure what the, the point they're trying to make. They're, it just seems confusing. But, okay, I'm sure sometimes I teach something and you're going, what the heck is Mr. Glazer talking about? Okay, write and solve an equation to represent the total value of the coins in Tina's collection. Okay, so Tina and Shannon. So you're going to have to do two. So let me just get one started here for you. Let's start with Tina. I'm going to put T equals... And let me start with uh, Tina. She has 917 pennies. So, I'll come down here. That would be um, 917 times um, 0 0.01 plus... And let's look back up. Then she has a hundred nickels, looks like, plus um, one hundred times point zero five, because that's five one hundredths, and the penny here is one one hundredth. Okay, plus. Um, 45 dimes, I should have written smaller, plus 45 dimes, and that's going to be uh, times point, that would be point 0.1, really, plus, and then how many quarters did she have? 19 quarters. Back over here. Plus 19 times uh, 0.25, because 0.25 is a quarter, and equals. And then you guys got to do the same thing with Shannon, okay? Once you've done Shannon's, then you can total each one, and then you'll be able to answer number 10, which is whose collection is worth more and how much more. So there's two questions there whose collection is worth more and how much more. So you're going to have to do a final subtraction piece. So anyways, that's it. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to turn this into an Ed Puzzle or not. I have to go look and see how you guys did on yesterday's. So how many did that one? Um, okay, that's it. I will see you guys uh, in a while. I had to record this this morning. I wasn't able to do it last night.